good fortune of being able to go through the McGowan Institute. And for those who have not uh, been able to do that, um, to some degree, it's a it's a it's a it's a magical place uh, in what they have done in um, tissue uh, engineering, um, in what we call now regenerative medicine, um, and being able to use cell tissues to put back together. Um, body parts that had been terribly damaged from burns to uh, lost limbs um, to be able to uh, get feeling back um, into, uh, a, 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 into, into the nervous system um, with a prosthetic uh, and, 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 and have that feeling of, of, of great sensation. Been able to regrow at times severed fingertips um, with the, 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 um, uh, with, the with the with the research that they've done to be able to see the patients and those who have had the benefit of their early research and uh, it's almost like they've been given a new life they they don't have to live with the atrocity that had taken place um, in their in their injury so they have a whole new a whole new outlook on life so the whole idea was to be able to, one, advance the research. Secondly, to give it the proper uh, identification that it needs, to give, a, give it a face, give it a name, uh, that people become aware of, of, of what has taken place. And so um, Heroes Restoration was created uh, to be able to do that. You know, in the, in the, in the, in, in the funding world, Research is almost like the stepchild. It's the one that gets whatever's left over. Um, the focus, uh, because people say, well, it's research, we don't know, you know, and, and research is so much needed. So from a funding point of view, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a crucial place to start to be able to give them the steps that are needed to get to a point where then um, uh, major donations can take over and take place. But the initial research, the, 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 when we start looking at cells, when we start getting into um, what is needed there, is, uh, is needs to be funded. And that is the mission that we've taken. The, the interesting thing about our returning veterans, and I should say this, just in general, over the last 20 years, is that we as American citizens have supported our soldiers from the Gulf War all the way now through uh, Iraq and Afghanistan and, and, and the returning soldiers. Um, and, and we're there to pat them on the back and, we're, and we thank them every day, uh, those who are uh, uh, come back with uh, unseen wounds uh, and those who come back with physical wounds. We see them in wheelchairs or in, on, on, in, 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 in canes or crutches um, and, we're, and we're there and we go, hey, thank you, thank you for serving, thank you for giving your time. But we don't go home with them. We don't live their lives. And as much as we may feel good about ourselves in saying, hey, you did a wonderful job, um, we don't live the everyday atrocity that takes place and what they have to go through. As they look at themselves in the mirror or question themselves about, am I really fully human? Uh, how, do I, how, do, how do I go through life with no limbs and or no arms or missing this or missing that? And, um, and all of a sudden, uh, regenerative medicine, what the McGowan Institute has researched and done, uh, puts a whole new light on how I view myself, how I, I can operate, and how I can interact with my kids and my family and get a job and have some normalcy within my life that I, 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 I didn't think I was gonna have. And so that's what it does. That's the impact um, to make an individual feel like a human. People at times soothe their own conscience, you know, by donating to um, a lot of great charities, charities that, that, uh, that benefit our returning soldiers. And there's plenty of them around. Um, research is a long process. It may not get the fanfare uh, and all the publicity that 
other charities may have um, because it may go down uh, and run into a dead end. In all the years, the money for that research may not uh, have uh, fruition, but yet it may have started a path somewhere else and then somewhere else and somewhere else so that down the line in a generation or, or two, uh, all of a sudden we see the benefits of the research that is taking place now. Um, that's why we need your help. That's why we need you to give because it starts building a foundation for future people and who knows that one day that miracle of being able to put a new hand on uh, or new fingers or a new leg or a new foot um, can change a person's life like that. But it all starts here and now with your participation. And so we ask you for your support. You know, one of the things in the history of war <laughs> is that the battlefield has always been a test ground. Uh, for advancement in medicine. All the way back from every war, from the Civil War to uh, First World War, Second World War, look at where medicine has come um, based on the sacrifice of our, of our young soldiers um, and who had to be treated immediately. But if it wasn't for the research, if it wasn't for the hands-on work that was able to done, be done, we wouldn't be where we are today in our knowledge of medicine and specifically in the fact of regenerative medicine and tissue engineering, um, specific minute things that have come out of a bad conflict but has given us the hope to be able to take to um, everyday lives, accidents that happen and not necessarily combat that benefits us as a generation, benefits us um, as a people. If you can, please consider supporting Heroes Restoration today.